Hello. Today, I will be guiding you through the process of installing shingles to the roof of your garden building. Before you begin, make sure the roof boards are dry and firmly secure. Cover all the roof boards using the roof membrane supplied, making sure to leave room for a minimum 5 to 10 mm overhang. Before securing the membrane in place, pull the membrane tightly against the roof boards. You will need to staple around all the edges as well as in the center of the roof in intervals of around 200 to 300 millimeters. Finally, cut off the excess material, leaving just the 5 to 10 millimeter overhang remaining. Once complete, the membrane should be secure and in combination with the shingles, will provide a suitable weatherproof covering for your product. To begin, apply nine evenly spaced five pence size droplets of adhesive per shingle onto the membrane, approximately 25 millimeters from the roof board edge. Then, starting at the bottom edge of the roof, position the shingles on top of the membrane with an overhang of 40 millimeters. On this first layer, the slots of the shingle should be running upwards. The overhang will not be affected if you have guttering installed. Once in position, use the clout nails provided to nail along the tile, leaving a 90mm gap from the front edge of the shingle. Please ensure you're using the correct size clout nails and that the clout nail head is flush with the shingle but does not pierce the surface. Once complete, continue to install the first layer of shingles around the circumference of the roof. For this video, we are using a mock-up of a hipped roof whereby the shingles are installed along all four sides. If you have a summer house, chalet or modern roof, this will be different and you should check your instruction manual for a diagram illustrating where the shingles should be laid. For the second layer, apply nine evenly spaced droplets of adhesive per shingle onto the first layer of shingles, approximately 25 millimeters from the roof board edge. Each row of shingles needs to be offset, so cut the first strip in half, and place the half shingle directly on top of the first row. This time, with the slots running downwards. Before we continue, just a quick note about the shingles themselves. The shingles utilize solar heat to melt the glue strip running across them. Be warned, if the stacked shingles are left in direct sunlight, it will cause them to stick together. We recommend applying droplets of sealant to aid adhesion, especially during the cooler periods. Also, if your shingles have a peelable plastic backing, Make sure to remove this before installing them to the roof. Continue around the roof until the first double layered row is complete. Next, we can move on to the second row where only one layer of shingles is required. If you feel that your product is exposed to strong winds or extreme weather conditions, you can use more clout nails and sealant to help prevent the shingles from moving or coming off. Once again, apply nine evenly spaced droplets of adhesive per shingle onto the first row of shingles. Lay the next row of shingles with the slots facing downwards. The second row will start with a full shingle, thus offsetting the tiles from the first row. Use the shingle tabs to accurately position the shingle. These can be found halfway down the side of each shingle tile. Once the second row is complete, you need to repeat the same process from here to the ridge. Make sure to alternate between starting with a full or half shingle so that they offset. For example, the third row will start with a half shingle and the fourth with a full shingle. To make the tiles for the ridges, you will need to cut the shingle into three segments. You will need to cut a taper into each shingle tile similar to how the video shows here, angled at approximately 15 degrees.
to secure the rid shingles, apply the shingle adhesive, rotate them 90 degrees and gently bend them over the ridge of the roof. And nail down firmly. Completely cover all the ridges with the cut shingles, ensuring that there are no gaps to let in rainwater. Once that's done, your shingled roof should be complete. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.